Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67. And today we are going to attempt to make a fabric hinged accordion fold flip book. Um, I came across a video on YouTube by Write It Out Loud um, YouTube channel, which I'll link that. I'll link the original video down in the description box. And I just loved this journal that um, the lady on the channel was making. Um, and I thought it was a nice idea. I'm always looking for something, a new way to bind books. And so when I saw this one, I, I have never done, I've done tab binding, but I've never done this sort of binding before. So it's a really nice size book. Um, and as you can see, each page is bound with fabric. And um, it's a flip book in an accordion style, but I have treated it very much like a junk journal. Um, I have added signatures in between my pages and I have decorated with pockets and um, different styles of ephemera pieces, tags and journal cards and so forth. Um, it's just a fun, interactive little book and the construction of the book is really very, very sturdy. So you have a lovely thick book and once you fill it up with all your pockets and things, then it becomes just very interesting, a really nice, nice sized journal. Now this one does measure, uh, what is that, eight and about eight and a half inches by just short of five and a half inches. So it's a really nice solid book and I was just impressed by making it and it's a fun project and quite easy. So I thought we would put together another one today. So um, to begin with, I'm working with printables, but you could use anything. You could use book pages, scrapbook paper. You could use, um, you know, mixed media paper that you've put together yourself. You've decorated yourself. Anything at all that you want to use, but I am using uh, a digital. Now, I have printed my digital on a, on a um, US letter size, but that is only because that's the size uh, cardboard or card stock that I have to work with. So, again, the sizes... Of your pages the the amount of your pages is very much a personal choice thing but I'm just choosing to work with a full sheet so I have cut my pages and I have cut mine in a tag shape because that's what the video that I was watching kind of suggested but again you could choose any shape any size page that you want for the project if you chose to work with this larger size, I've achieved my pages by simply taking my printable page and folding it in half like that. And then I have cut that in half and cut my tag shape. Now, because my cardstock is very thin, I have done a second step and I have backed that onto some manila cardstock um, and that as an end result makes your pages really really thick and really you know sturdy but if you had nice heavyweight cardstock you could probably avoid that second step of, of backing it onto something thicker so once you have all your pages organized now in this book here this one has seven pages but in the one that I'm going to put together today, I've only chosen five. So this one's going to have five pages. But for every page, you want a front and you want a back. So that a front and a back will be one page. So in the essence of this book, this is five pages. So I need ten, five single pages, but I need ten pieces. One for the front and one for the back. So that is that. That's the that's the bones of the book. And then as for the fabric hinges, I've just um, torn some calico. I've just got some plain calico that I've just torn into strips. Now your strip size, uh, the length of the strip sort of 
if you're doing a tag shape, for instance, where you've cut your tag, you want your sort of fabric strip to sort of start there and in between those two points. Uh, if you're doing just a book page, then it would be between the top and the bottom sort of thing. But anyway, let's get on and attempt to put this together. <coughs> Excuse me. So first of all, for your very first page, that's going to be your cover. So you want to choose which, which page you want for your cover. Now, I'm just going to, because I will put sort of a um, focal piece on the front of my cover, I'm just going to use this plain one. Um, but if you want to, if you had something really, well, there is quite pretty decorative pages through here, but I didn't want to put down a pretty page and then cover it up. So that's a choice that you would make what you want for your first cover. So I'm going to put these to the side. I'll take our first page front and back. And we're going to hinge this page. So turning it over like so this is my front cover and I'm turning it over and I'm working on my left hand side I'm going to take my first fabric strip and I'm just going to place it where I think it it needs to be and I'm just going to glue that down in place just down this left hand side of my cover page Just like that and then I'm just going to try and keep that nice and straight in between those two points and pop it down like that like that so that's what you're going to look at I think that's right is that right hmm, maybe not I don't really know now, but anyway, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. So what we want to do now, this is the back part. This could end up being a cover part, actually. We'll work it out. But anyway, working from the left, you grab your first page, you stick down your hinge, and then you want to grab your backing page, and you want to level that up with your front and just glue it all down together. Now, sometimes they're not going to be accurate. I have cut these all from the same shape but then just a little bit out in different places. I don't think that matters. That is the relaxed the relaxed feeling of junk journaling or this kind of craft. But you can always come back in after you've glued your pages together and you can um, ink and cut to suit sort of thing. Right, so I'm just probably putting a little bit more than less glue on there just because I want a really nice firm hold. And I'm just going to level that up the best way that I can. I'll pop that down. I'm going to quickly flip it over. Yeah, it's a little bit out and art glitter glue doesn't give me much time to work. But yeah, just something like that. And if it is out a little bit, then like I said, you can just go back in and trim it up. Like in this area here, it's a little bit out. So I'm just going to trim that flush with my other page, just like that. So that's your first page done. Let's give that a really nice firm press to make sure that everything is sticking where it's supposed to be sticking. I'm just going to bring in my bone folder, just like that. All right, so then we are going to, what we need to do now is attach another page to this hinge. So basically I want to leave about a quarter of an inch in between each page and I want to level that up as best I can page against page like so. So again, I'm just going to run a bead of glue down along this side of the, my second page. And just pop that down on the hinge. Like I said, leveling it up top and bottom with the first tag, first page. And leaving about a quarter of an inch in between each page. So just like that. Then we're going to flip it over. 
to make sure that's nice and stuck you might need to put a bit more glue down to attach that hinge and then we come back with the back part the back part of the second page and again just gluing it down in place so it's quite a repetitious project um, but I just think the end result is worth it so again probably putting a little bit more than less glue around those edges because I want them to have a really nice firm hold and then putting my glue all in the center like that and then once again leveling that up as best as I can down like that up along the top and then I'm going to flip that over oh no see this is the mistake I made the other day this is what's really important <laughs> okay we've attached our first page now a second page before we put that background page on we need to attach another hinge so on this side here I, I did this the other day and I thought oh made a mistake anyway so we take our second hinge and we're just going to place that on that edge of the paper in between those two points like so and then we'll come back in and attach our second page i'll just reapply glue because it's probably come off in places and then leveling it up as best as we can top and bottom side to side pop down our second page now i'm just going to flip that over make sure it's all nice and or as level as is possible i'm not going to get too fussy about it and i'm just going to give that a really good press down like so okay now i'm going to flip it this way because we're working on to our left i'm going to pick my third page and once again just like before i'm going to level that up top and bottom leaving about a quarter of an inch in between each page and i'm going to stick this page down onto that hinge so again leveling that up top and bottom as best i can leaving about a quarter of an inch and then i'm going to quickly flip that over make sure that's right and i'm just going to add a little bit more glue just to really secure that hinge down just like that now before we put our back cover on we're going to put another hinge down so we're just going to pick another hinge another piece of calico and again we are just going to take our glue and glue down the side about like that and put our hinge down on that like so then we can come back in with our backing page and stick it down now there is a fair amount of prep work well the way that i've done it there's a fair amount of prep work to this you just got to have all your pages ready to go i've also sewn around my pages just because i like that look and i've inked all around them so if you didn't want to do all of that you would save yourself a lot of time but um it's all part of the process of making a book i think is prepping all your pieces and having everything organized and together so yeah bear that in mind if you're doing this project there is a little bit of sort of prep work before you put your book together so once again just leveling that up as best i can top and bottom and i'm just going to flip it over to make sure everything is nice and lined up there or as good as give that a nice press down and there you have it so once again working to the left we are going to pick our next page 
and just I might cut these these threads because they are going to get in the way a little bit. Not really in the way, but they yeah. So again, I'm just going to level that up top and bottom, pop some glue down on this side. And stick that down on that hinge again, leveling it up, giving myself about a quarter of an inch in between each page, like so. I'm going to flip that over. That. I'm going to pop a little bit more glue and there you have another hinged page now again before we put our backing down I'm going to grab another hinge <coughs> and pop that down there And just pop that one in place between those two points, like so. And then we will grab our next page and pop that straight over the top. So it does come together pretty quick. As I said, there's a bit of prep work. But once your prepping is done and when you come to actually assemble your book, it's, it's quite straightforward and quite quick. Then the decorating is a whole different a whole different task as you know when you're doing junk journals the embellishing well for me the embellishing takes the longest all right and then we will just line that up top and bottom as best we can quickly flip that over to make sure it's all good and give it a nice tight burnish. And that one is out just a little bit there, but I'm really not going to be too worried about it at all. All right, so again, working for our left. Now, this is our last page in this particular book. So when you get to your last page, like your first page, you don't need to add that extra hinge. So we've got our hinge, we're just going to pick our page and I'm just going to glue that hinge onto this page Oh, <laughs> oh dear, sorry guys, I get myself confused so easily I turned it the wrong way. See, so I, I really should have glued this side, not this side. And But anyway, we can use that as our top page. Oh, dear. It's Monday morning. What can I say? All right, so gluing down this side. Um, I'm going to attach this side to our hinge. What's a you? This is, this is real. This is real life. <laughs> oh, dear me. All right, so leaving about that quarter of an inch, leveling it up as well as you can with the top and bottom, pressing that into place. I'm going to quickly flip that over to make sure that hinge is all good. I'll put a little bit extra glue here so that it sticks nice and firm. And then we can put our last page on. Now, like I said, because it's our last page, we don't have to attach another hinge because there's no need for another hinge. Um, as I said, five pages in this one, but the first one I, I created was seven. You could just keep going and going as many pages as you wanted. Okay, so I'll just lay some glue around here. Just like so. And once again, we're leveling that up as best as we can. Now that one is out a little bit. Fold it over, press it all down and give that a really good burnish. And that is really that. That is the construction of a tab hinged or fabric hinged book. 
which I just really enjoyed. I thought that was lovely. So, so we start off. Yeah, I thought that was going to be my cover, but it's not. But I don't think it matters because I, I, I still cover over it. So, in the original video, the lady was talking about front and back. But I'm, I haven't worried about that. I'm just, yeah, pretty pictures throughout. And as in this one, I've covered over some of them and it doesn't matter. But, yeah, so it's a, a sort of a flip book, like so. One of those never-ending accordion fold kind of books. And um, it's a really nice solid construction with your hinges. They're, they're not going anywhere. Um, they're in there nice and firm and uh, yeah I just love the whole oh there you go look at that so you could do it you could fold it any way you wanted to fold it really but yeah how did we have it the first time <laughs> like I said this is real life ladies and gentlemen <laughs> oh dear all right, so yeah, I just love it. I think it's great. And as with this one, like I said, I have, I have um, added signatures, only small signatures. They've only got four pages, so that's like eight, eight sides, sixteen writing surfaces. And I think that's all you need because it's full enough already by the time you pop all your pockets in. So yeah, just some simple signatures sewn into the actual fabric hinge. Just made some assorted ephemera um, and then pockets with ephemera, hold, you know, pockets on each page holding some ephemera pieces. Again, I've got another signature. I think with this one, I've sewn a signature into each hinge and I will sort of decorate each page. Again, another pocket just with some journal cards and tags type thing. Another signature into that page each signature's got four pages so i think that's enough when you can four or five one two one two three no four four so that's like eight pages 16 sides so i think that's probably just enough for this style journal um and then that is your back and then we'll flip it again again i've i still need to add pockets to this one there's a side tuck pocket which i've just done a little a little envelope, postcard, postcard, bits and pieces there. Um, another side tuck pocket. I've got a couple of tags that still need to have some tabs put on them. Again, another signature. So you can just keep going and make it as full as you need to. Another window pocket there with some ephemera inside. Another signature. And then I've got a side tuck pocket diagonal fold side tuck and just some more ephemera in there. I've just done some scrappy notebooks in this one. So, um, yeah, so if you really enjoy putting junk journals together, different binding methods, I really suggest you give this one a go. It's fun. <laughs> I do apologise for the um, for the real life events. <laughs> But anyway, that's what you get, hey, when you're making videos. So we'll just pull it all out, five pages, all hinged together. And then you can just fold it as an accordion fold. And then you get that flip, flip style book that's never ending. Love it. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this has been of interest to someone. It's fun. It's a fun, it's a fun, it's not a little book. It's a nice size book. As I said, they measure out about oh, just short of eight and a half by just short of five and a half. So it's a really decent book to hold in your hand. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Enjoy your Monday. Um, stay safe and well, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.